everyone, it's super easy now to add 200 plus games to your Super Nintendo Classic Edition. I just modded my console again. Let's take a closer look. Hey guys, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and we got another version of Hack Sheet floating around out there. This one's a beta, so we're getting real close to the official release from Cluster. So these hack cheese just keep getting better and better. The best thing about this one is it converts those SMCs and SFCs to SFROM automatically. You don't have to change them no more. So I downloaded my file, it was in zip format. Once I opened it up, I dragged the folder to the desktop. Now this is a folder I've opened up. And inside here we have a couple folders for the games. And the Super Nintendo games are actually stored in the Games SNES folder. And if you have games from a previous hack cheat, you can transfer them over into that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and load HackChi. The first time you load it, it's going to ask what system you're using. And you can actually select Super Nintendo now. So I already have that selected because I've opened this once. And with this version of HackChi, we have this box here. that gives you kind of real-time information of what's going on with HackChi as you're using it. And to start off, I'm just going to add some games. And you can actually add files in a zip format. Mine are a zip format that contain an SMC inside them. And I'm just going to select a bunch of games. We're going to see how many games we can fit on this. So i got quite a few selected. These probably won't fit on here. I'm just experimenting right now. And I'm going to fast forward because this is going to take a while because I selected so many games. So I selected 478 games. Obviously that's not going to fit. So from memory it's showing that I'm using 425 out of 300. You can see that in the bottom there in red. And that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to take some of those games off. So it looks like I'm maxing out about 318 games, but the games kind of vary in size, so I'd say about 300 plus games you can get. But this is before adding pictures. After I add pictures, I'm going to lose a little bit of memory also. But this is how many games I can run so far without pictures. And I'm sure some ROM packs are going to surface that are going to get these ROMs compressed and the images compressed so we can fit more on there. It's just a matter of time. So I'm going to change a couple of the settings. I'm going to go to the settings tab there and go to page folder structure. Then I'm going to select Pages Split Games Equally. Then, under the maximum number of games per folder, I'm going to select 70. Yeah, that should be enough. And under Console Type, I have the SNES Classic Mini checked. And that's what I pre-selected when I started this app in the first place. Now this hack cheat setup is just a little bit different. When you go to flash your custom kernel, it automatically dumps your kernel. So you want to make sure you dump your original kernel in the first place and save that some more safe. So I'm not going to do a complete step-by-step -step with this because we're going to have the official hack cheat coming out. I'm just trying to walk you through what I did to make mine work. So what I did was I dumped my original kernel, then I flashed it with the custom kernel. And there's step-by-step -step instructions that tell you what to do. You hold that reset button, then you turn the power on, you hold it for a couple more seconds, then you let it go. Then it automatically starts dumping or flashing the kernel. So to get box art for the games, I selected all the games, I highlighted it in blue, then I right clicked, and then I can download the box art from Google. Now this isn't 100% accurate, but it can save you a lot of time. With the images that aren't matching, you can actually change those and just add images from your computer. Or you can just select one of the games that don't match and do a Google search, and it's going to pull up multiple pictures that you can choose from. So since I have 318 games, it is going to take a while to find all those pictures. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward this, and it does a pretty decent job. I'd say it has about 90, 92% accuracy with getting the right pictures. So there's not that many pictures you got to change. This is still way better than going one by one by one changing the pictures. So all the box art's done downloading, and it's done a pretty good job. Everything looks pretty accurate. There's a couple mistakes here and there, but I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Uh, but now we have an issue with the memory. Now our memory's full, so we're going to have to deselect some of these games. So about 207 games seem to be the magic number for me, but it's going to vary depending on which games you've picked. And also, if you want to choose one player or two player, if you want that to show up on the menu on your, for your games, up in that right corner you need to select either two players, two players simultaneously, or one player, whatever the game is. But if it's a two player game, it'll still work. This is just going to be for display purposes when you're looking at the games. Okay, so it's time to go ahead and synchronize the games and see what happens. We have 207 games selected. So if my calculations are correct, when we hit this button, we're going to see some serious shit. Okay, it's go time. It looks like we got some stuff going on on the side there. It looks like it's converted to SF's ROMs. It's divided into different folder structures. All kinds of stuff's happening. So of course I fast forwarded this, and it took maybe about three and a half minutes to load the games to my Super Nintendo. Okay, we're done, and at this point I like to wait for that red light to turn back to green. And that might take maybe five seconds or so. And then as soon as it turns green, any second now, come on. Alright, now it's green, 
Now I'm going to go ahead and power off my Super Nintendo and when the red light turns off it's safe to unplug it. And over here on the left we got stats on what happened in the memory and it looks like we only got 7 megabytes of memory left so we're cutting it really close. Alright, let's go ahead and power the Super Nintendo up and see what happened with all our ROMs. Alright, as you can see here, we have a bunch of games now. All 207 games are on here. Obviously, I haven't had time to test them all, but I have tested maybe a handful, maybe 10 or so. I uh, tested two players, it seems to work good. A game save seems to be working good. Overlay seems to be working good. So, everything seems to be a go. And you can see there, I just loaded a folder, and that folder contains the B's and C games. Alright, let's go ahead and pick a random game to play. Spot. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's go ahead and exit and save the game. We're going to go ahead and test that on this game. Alright, works no problem. And like I said earlier, some of that box art is off. Uh, if you need to change that box art, just go ahead and manually change it. Uh, it might not bother you, but I know some people out there, it definitely bothers. So we got more than enough games to keep us satisfied. At least I think so. I mean, how many games do we need at once? But even though I just said that, when 700 games becomes available all at once, I'm probably going to jump on board and get all 700 games. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. If you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, just click any of these links.